Hello there, M. Strange here. So I had a question after my last video on cameras um, and wide-angle cameras or fisheye lenses, how to get that fisheye effect. So um, again, I'm using Cinema 4D 11.5, so this is before their physical camera in 14, which allows you to do it um, kind of. I'll go look at that after, but I'll show you the way I do it. So this is a 15 millimeter lens and uh, to exaggerate it I guess let's go even wider let's go to like a 10 and just so we have some more stuff to distort so you can actually see this effect working let's go and move some of this stuff where should we put it over here so we can actually have it in the background and we can see some stuff being distorted or warped so now if without this effect if I just render this um, I mean it's a really wide lens but you're not getting the distortion or the perspective that you'd expect from a fisheye with a real lens <clears throat> so as of this version uh, 11.5 there's no way to do that without a plug-in and the plugin I use that maybe a, a lot of people don't know um, that it also has this module is that before um, Linear Workflow was built in a Cinema 4D, which I think it came in at 13, or maybe even 12, um, the first plugin to come out for it was called Bgamma. And it's a really good plugin, and even though Cinema 4D has Linear Workflow now, I recommend this plugin because it gives you a lot more um, options, and it gives you these little extra effects, like the one I'll show you to do fisheye lenses. So, um, I guess, you know what we should do? We should... Uh, I should save these images so we can compare them. So let's render this one without any plug-in or distortion. So we can see what it looks like. Okay, so there's one with no distortion. I'm gonna put this back here. So now let's render this with the Dgamma Fishy Distorter on. So, and you know what we're doing here, this has nothing to do with 3D cameras, because 3D cameras do not have barrel distortion, because that comes from like a physical lens and the limitations. But, so we're emulating what a real physical camera can do. So if you see, this is without the distortion, and this is with it. So as you can see, this mimics that fisheye look that everyone's used to um, with the real fisheye lens. And you can get really close to stuff, like inside of it actually and you know when it renders it it's a post effect so it's applying it at render time so it's it's not going to look how it looks in the viewport it's going to change it so you have to render it to actually see what it's going to look like but um so the the Dgamma plugin it has its linear workflow module which works really good and I prefer over the built-in ones and it has a couple different post effects but one of them is this D-Gamma Fishy Distorter. So um, here you can see the difference again. So I think this is what you're looking for if you're asking about this. And the way it works is that it has a couple different modes. So you can do all these different lens types. <clears throat> but the one I use is Fishy because this is for like wider angle lenses. And uh, I set it to user and I leave this stuff the same. But then I just figured out how I guess I looked at some photos with some wide angle uh, lenses that I took and I looked at the sources and then I compared the renders in 3D and I just figured out the field of view that would match the lens type like if you had the real lens and you know for the way that I wanted it to look so then I typed these in <clears throat> so I have it written up here on my monitor so if I were to change this to a 15 millimeter lens then I would go in here and on mine it says a 15 is 130 oops it's 130 so then I'd change this to 130 and then now it would um, oops it would render it using those settings so for me I mean I really like barrel distortion and what I'm trying to do in 3D is that I'm trying to mimic I'm pretending I'm shooting this 3D scene through a real camera. So I mean the barrel distortion helps that effect. So that's how you do it, or that's how I do it in 
And um, so I recommend, if you can, getting the gamma. It comes with some of these other post effects, but I don't use any of these. I just use the fishy distorter. And if we go into 14, which I don't really use, I don't really know much about it at all, because um, I just have the demo. Uh, if you switch to physical camera, and I'm probably I might be wrong. There might be other settings, but I just looked at it really quick. This is what I saw. So it has this quadratic, it has this lens distortion, so I'm not sure exactly how it works or how this relates to like the degree or anything like that, but as you can see it's applying some kind of distortion, so I um, might have to like look at the help or read something about it, but it's not as um, flexible as D-gamma. So if you want to do real barrel distortion and stuff, I recommend investing in D-gamma because that's the best one I found and actually the fastest too. So uh, you may be saying what is linear workflow? Well if you're using a new version of Cinema 4D which I think it may have come in 12 maybe, but I know it's in 13 and 14 they have linear workflow built in by default so then you probably you may not care or like know what it is but if you're using 11.5 or before there's no way to do linear workflow without a plugin so if you have an earlier version like me um, I'd recommend DGAMMA and uh, you'll see what it does if I turn off linear workflow so linear workflow if you don't know what it is I mean there's like really good technical answers but just think about it as something that will make your lighting and your scenes look more realistic so it'll take the harshness and the hardness away from your renders and make them softer and just nicer to look at and they, the light will react more like real light so yeah if you're using 11.5 or earlier and you need um, linear workflow and you want lens distortion I recommend D-Gamma so that's how I do barrel distortion so I hope that answered your question out there sorry that you have to buy a plugin to do it um, there's After Effects plugins <clears throat> that try to do it in post but that's not a true barrel distortion because as you can see um, let's make this bigger as you can see it's bringing in stuff that's like not even in the render so um, there's things in this image that you can't see without the actual 3D render bringing it in so some of this stuff like this here in the corner you know if you took this image and then applied the the After Effects post or whatever program you're using for post there's no way it can pull this into the image because it wasn't rendered so you could have like a wider shot and then apply distortion but you're not going to get the same you're not going to get the true photographic distortion so if you're a tweaker for photography and it, it means a lot to you then yeah um, you want the real barrel distortion so I'll keep using it this is what I keep using because I really like it and makes good looking images for me and uh, another thing is if you're using matte paintings or backgrounds in 2D like I do all my matte paintings or video or 2D images so then um, that stuff's not going to have the barrel distortion applied I mean it doesn't really affect stuff that's super far away that much as, as much as it does the close things but so the way that I make it fit in like I did with my last film Heartstring Marionette is that I applied an After Effects lens distortion um, effect to the matte paintings to the background stuff just to give it a little bend to make it fit in so yeah, hope that answered your question out there. I had a question about the barrel distortion. Until next time, M.Strings saying the bye.